Hi all, now I'm going to show you how to assign multiple IP address in Windows PC. Just click on search button, type ncpa.cpl. Now I'm going to assign IP address in Microsoft Global Adapter, which is nothing but Ethernet 3 in my PC. Just right click, click on status, details. Initially, I have assigned the IP address 192.168.100.100 with the submit mask of slash 24. Now I'm going to add additional IP. Right click, go to properties, go to IPv4. This is the IP address that I have assigned. Click on advanced in order to assign a new IP address. Click on add. Just assign whichever IP you want. 10.11.12.13. I'm just assigning this segment IP. Add and then click OK, OK, OK. Now just click on status, details, you will be assigned with both the IP address with the consent submit mask. Just click on OK, but be make sure don't assign any gateway. Just look at here, I didn't assign any gateway here, because if you have assigned a gateway that will any one of the network will work other network will not work suppose uh, if you are assigning 192.168.100.1 this network will work but 10.11.8 will not work if I am assigning 10.0.0.1 or 10.11.12.24 something which belongs to this network only this network will work and this network will not work so be make sure don't assign any default gateway you can just check it uh, using command front also just press on command front just check into ethernet 3 here is IP address both IP address have been shown just be make sure don't assign any gateway if you assign a gateway only one network will work that's all and this can be used when to work on figuring any access point or switches and you need to configure three or four uh, access point at a time with a default configuration might be as 192.168.100.1 or 1.1 in the access point but you need to change to your network segment as 10.11.12.13 or 172.16.0.1 whatever it be uh, for that you need to change the IP address while you are changing the IP address every time you need to reassign the IP address if you are adding additional IP address to the segment then you don't need to change every time uh, for the configuring the additional IP well, you are configuring the additional IP address role. so it's better to add for doing that configuration that's it thanks for watching this video